All right, here we go. The watch this video for Friday, last trading day of 2017, guys. Friday tomorrow. Um, I got one more day. I should take the day off. I can keep my streak alive. I can guarantee it. I haven't had a red day in November and all of December. And I really don't want to screw up the last day of the year. But anyway, trading's been good. You wouldn't know it by looking at the SPY. Um, extremely narrow ranges each day, and that's because it's a holiday week, you know, right between uh, Christmas and New Year's. But we've been doing a good job in chat of rooting out some big winners. So um, it's still worth logging in every day. Uh, I'm probably going to just, you know, take it easy tomorrow. I don't think the afternoon will be too busy, but we'll see. You never know. With the, with the year winding down, maybe there will be some crazy action at the end of the day. Uh, but anyway, last trading day of 2017. Don't forget the market is closed on Monday. So we'll be picking it back up on Tuesday after tomorrow. Um, here is the list. Oh, real quick, don't forget, uh, just a few more days left. Uh, our sale ends after uh, the January, the New Year's Day holiday. And it's a great time to grab our chat room and trading course combo. If you're already a lifing, lifetime member of chat, um, it's a great time to grab our course because everything's half price and it's a great compliment to the chat room. Uh, I was talking about this in chat today. Almost everybody on my hot script list is, which is the people in the chat room that I follow and I get an audible alert when they post something, which is a cool feature of our room. Almost everybody on that list has taken our course. There's a couple in there that are great traders that have never taken our course and I follow them too, but almost everybody else has taken our course and they know exactly what to look for and I absolutely uh, want to see when they post something. So I've got um, a big list of people that have taken the course that are all the time putting in great ideas in the room from exactly what we teach. So, all right, enough babbling about that. Uh, let's see, spy kind of flag in here. Let's go into the list for tomorrow. LTEA, um, several people in chat, speaking of people on our hot script list that have taken our course, posted the idea through for today. Um, I didn't get involved in this one at that point. That was right here. Uh, I got involved right here uh, about 418. And we got a really nice move within a few minutes to 449. It ended up closing pretty strong. So this goes back on watch uh, for a continuation of this bounce tomorrow. Um, NXTD, you're going to see a lot of the you know crazy crypto runners that have been pretty beaten up on this watch list. The NXTD is another one. Uh, we'll just see if it gives us a break of today's high. Uh, N-E-T-E -E is another one. I actually thought this was going to rip this afternoon. It was kind of disappointing. I'll, I'll switch here. So you had this big spike. Then you had another spike, a kind of a flag. It's still, this spike didn't take out the early highs. And I'm thinking, look at the volume on this pop, right? Looks like it's going to roll over. Then it puts in a higher low. Another pop right below this one, which is right below the high of day. I mean, that's a stacked play. And then on this pop, I got involved. And I thought we were going to just rip through 12. I, I thought 13 was possible. And it straight sideways. So... Um, a little bit disappointing because I thought that was a, a ripper. But anytime you get, you know, I mean, look at this thing. Uh, this thing was over 33 bucks the other day, and then it's uh, been decimated, right? And so today I really thought we'd get a little mini short squeeze, uh, which step never materialized, but absolutely worth watching again tomorrow. Um, NEPT. This one is flagging nicely, I believe. This is one of the marijuana stocks, but I, I don't trade over the counter stuff, but this one is actually uh, listed probably NASDAQ, but I'm not positive, don't quote me on that. Um, anyway, nice flag here, wanna watch this one. Um, a lot of these stocks have been really hot, so that you know that one's worth watching tomorrow. Uh, maybe it breaks out over this flag. Um, what do we have, IPWR, no trades in this today. I, I said it looked really toppy, but now it's come back down. Um, if the some of these baby crypto plays get ripping. This is a good one to just watch for a turn back up. Nothing real pretty about the chart there, but it is a pullback on much lower volume. Look at the volume it had yesterday. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one. ADOM had this huge two-day move, a couple days lower here on declining volume, maybe turn back up tomorrow. SGLB, huge pop, three days lower, declining volume coming down into the 200 day from above. Also that buy zone between the eight and the 20 day. Pretty good candidate for a turn back up tomorrow. Um, TEUM, just another one of those cryptos that uh, down hard for a couple days may bounce tomorrow. A lot to watch, man, there's a lot to watch. FTFT, same thing, crazy crypto. Uh, when I say crypto, I'm kind of doing air quotes, you know, or finger quotes in the air because uh, they've been deemed to be crypto or maybe they said, um, they put out a headline that had crypto in it and the algo is random. I, you know, I don't know. We've got a, a crazy list of stocks that have mentioned blockchain in a headline and they rip. Um, it doesn't really matter that much uh, as long as they get a proper chart set up. 
um, I'm going to take the trade. Because anyway you slice it, you've got longs piling in, and now you've got shorts piling in. And so if it gives us the proper setup, we should be jumping on the right team at that right moment. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. FT, FT. So then Q, wait, Q-I-W-I. Great symbol, Kiwi. Big volume today. This one uh, was deemed a crypto play and something to do with Russia, and I don't know. But this uh, very nice volume today. This one could easily continue tomorrow. Um, definitely want to watch that one. HMNY, massive volume today. This thing, a uh, really ugly chart coming into today and then a really nice strong day. So we're going to watch this one for the next few days. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's come from the, you know, look, see this range it's been in ever since it gapped down from here to here. I don't like the fact that it came from the low to the high of that range all in one day. So to me, it, it feels like it needs to rest for a little bit, but it goes on watch tomorrow. We'll see. Um, VTVT, huge volume day for this stock, closed pretty strong. See if we get a red to green in that one tomorrow. Uh, a couple more, LBIX, kind of an interesting chart. Uh, you can see a lot of the spikes in this one have been slapped right back down, but it's kind of building nice support now below and with a strong close today, I think that one's worth watching for a possible breakout tomorrow. And lastly, another one that um, CCCL, not a lot of volume in this name. But you can see back here, it can move, right? $1.72 to 360 before coming all the way back down. Then it puts in a lower high, then a lower high. Well, then it kind of tests, you know, uh, hey, maybe it's going to get going. And then reversed, but then today a strong close. So a lot of ingredients here for a potential rip. Um, definitely want to watch this one tomorrow. It's super thin, though, so be careful if you trade that one. Uh, doubt that I will unless I see volume coming in on a proper setup. Um, all right. Remember, tomorrow, last trading day of the year. Be careful, and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Have a good night.